One of the biggest devotions in the Vatican II sect is the, quote, Divine Mercy Devotion. The amount of people following the Divine Mercy Devotion in 2010 was estimated to be over 100 million. The devotion was written down by Sister Faustina Kowalska, who died in Krakow, Poland in 1938. Faustina claimed that the devotion was given by Jesus during frequent conversations she claimed to have with him when she was a religious sister in the 1930s. Faustina recorded these conversations in her diary. The diary essentially consists of over 600 pages of Faustina's writings about how much she says she loves God, her claims about how much God loves her, and how great and holy she is according to Jesus. According to Faustina's spiritual director, her messages were received by, quote, visions, illuminations, enlightenments, hearing inner voices. Faustina also said, quote, my visions are purely interior. Faustina claims that Jesus specifically wanted people to have trust in his mercy, and to accomplish this, Jesus was giving the world the Divine Mercy Chaplet and the Divine Mercy Image. Faustina also said that Jesus wanted the Feast of Divine Mercy to be celebrated on the first Sunday after Easter. We will cover the Divine Mercy Chaplet, the Image, and the Feast later in this video. Before we cover what Jesus said according to Faustina, here are a few things Faustina said about herself. Quote, there are moments when Jesus gives me knowledge within my soul, and then everything that exists on earth is at my service. Friends, enemies, success, adversity, all things willing or not must serve me. According to Faustina, all things must serve her. That is an outrageous statement. My mind is like lightning. I penetrate all the mysteries of faith with great ease. I would not want to change places even with a seraph as regards the interior knowledge of God which he himself has given me. The intimate knowledge I have of the Lord is such as no creature can comprehend. Faustina also boasted about, quote, my sanctity. My soul was instantly filled with a great longing that our congregation too might have a saint, and I wept like a child that there was no saint in our midst, and I began again to weep like a little child. And the Lord Jesus said to me, don't cry, you are that saint. How would Faustina know that none of the other sisters in her order were saints? Would Jesus appear to someone to tell that person, quote, you are that saint? Or does it seem much more likely that the devil appearing to be Jesus would say that in order to puff the person up? Of course, you are a saint. Soon I myself will make this manifest in you and they will pronounce the same word, saint. Here, Faustina writes down a dream she had in which she supposedly spoke to St. Therese. In the dream, she asked St. Therese, quote, and will I be a saint? To which she replied, yes, you will be a saint. But little Therese, shall I be a saint as you are raised to the altar? And she answered, yes, you will be a saint just as I am. Notice how Faustina wants to not just be a saint, but a saint recognized in this world. Shortly before her death, Sister Faustina raised herself somewhat, beckoned to mother to draw near and said to her, quote, the Lord Jesus wants to elevate me and make me a saint. Message of Faustina on January 8, 1937, quote, Jesus, I beg you by the inconceivable power of your mercy that all the souls who will die today escape the fire of hell, even if they have been the greatest sinners. Jesus pressed me to his heart and said, my beloved daughter, you have come to know well the depths of my mercy. I will do what you ask. According to this message, Jesus will save every soul that died that day. Those who died that day almost certainly included Catholics in mortal sin, Protestants, Muslims, Jews, Buddhists, atheists, etc. But according to this message, Jesus confirmed that he will save all of them, even though they didn't convert to the one true Catholic faith and were not in a state of grace. This completely contradicts Catholic teaching and the infallible dogma outside the Catholic Church there is no salvation. Here are some other things that Faustina claims Jesus said to her. Quote, My daughter, all that exists is yours. Do whatever you wish, distribute graces as you will to whom you will and when you will. This is why I came down from my throne to taste the fruits of your mercy. You are a sweet grape in a chosen cluster. I want others to have a share in the juice that is flowing within you. You are my spouse forever. Your chastity should be greater than that of the angels. 
for I call no angel to such intimacy as I do you. I see your love so pure and true that I give you first... I urge you to follow the link below and watch the rest of this presentation. Can it be an accident that those of the Novus Ordo Anti-Church, that demonic entity currently led by Anti-Pope Francis, can it be an accident that they embrace Sister Faustina and the Divine Mercy devotion so much? Because just on what I've heard just now, this seems to me to be thoroughly diabolical. And so, therefore, it makes sense that those of the Novus Ordo Anti-Church, the Devil's Anti-Church, now headed by Anti-Pope Francis, it makes perfect sense that they would embrace this. Take a look. Follow the link below this video. And if you don't like the source, follow it anyway. Don't be anti-philosophical. Focus on the truth, not on the source of the truth. Emerge, people, from your bovine stupor.